Hello, welcome to the party. Hi, I've never met you before. I know. Just two guys and we're having a good time. Having a good time. Having a good time. Just two guys and we're having a good time. Having a good time. Live from Springfield, Illinois, in the heart of the land of Lincoln, it's Just Two Guys. Hi, welcome to Just Two Guys. Uh, this is going to be one of our best episodes ever. It has to do with uh, local celebrities eating donuts. So we're really looking forward to getting into that segment. But uh, yeah. John, why don't we go ahead and start off with our questions. Okay, I have a question I'd really like to start okay. with. And I think you'll enjoy this one. Imagine this scenario. Mm -hmm. You're playing poker with a werewolf. Ooh. If you lose, you lose your life. Stakes oh. are high. Number one, how did you get into this situation? <laughs> well, I was down at the swamp with my buddy Swamp Monster. And we were drinking a little swamp water. And one thing led to another. We were in Transylvania. So uh, Dracula, Wolfman, Swamp Monster, and the Mummy were all sitting around. We couldn't figure anything to do. So we uh, started playing some cards and... That gets us to that point. All right. Number two, how do you plan to get out of it? Uh, well, I just happened to have that silver bullet. Unfortunately, I left it in the coat in the other room. So that makes a that is precarious tricky. situation. Yeah, that's quite a threes company like scenario. Yes, it is. Yes. Now, number three, describe the soundtrack of this moment in your life. Oh, you always did soundtrack. I like that. I love the soundtrack moments. Um, well, it starts off uh, uh, very smooth. It's probably some sort of a classical, you know, music type thing. Then it goes into a little Zeppelin as I'm <laughs> running from the werewolf. <laughs> that makes sense. I can yeah, see that. Yeah. So that's how it goes. That's great. That's I like that. That's a good answer. That's a great question. Um, yeah, I really like that one. Thank you. All right. Let's say I'm eating a donut. Oh. Like the one you here. You have one here. I know. But I begin choking. Mm-hmm. You try everything you can do to dislodge, but nothing seems to work. Your only choice to save me is to perform an emergency tracheotomy. Oh, would no problem. Oh, good. Totally. So you know how to do that? Yeah, I've done a lot of tracheotomies. What would you use? Uh, probably just whatever was lying around, a knife or a piece of glass. I mean, I could break this and use that. That's, that's great. I mean, the primary objective is to save your life. Right. So if I have to just start cutting into you, you know, whatever it takes, whatever it takes, man. You know? Even if I yell, quit, quit, that's not my throat. <laughs> that's my face. That's my arm. What are you doing to me? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I would do that. All Although right, I'm good. really queasy with blood, so I may get you opened up and then pass out. and <laughs> We'd both be screwed. So, Damn. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, well, that's a good answer. I'm glad you would, though. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Tim Davlin invites you to sing lead vocals in his heavy metal band, Mayoral Onslaught. <laughs> what do you do? Um, well, I probably take uh, Ossie Langfeller's place as the drummer, oh. and uh, you know, I just I hit it up and so you change the style a little. You bit. do the Phil Collins thing where you play drums and sing lead. You know, I have a Phil Collins question. <laughs> oh no, yeah. I hate Phil Collins. <laughs> Let's move into the next question. Okay. Who would you rather poke in the eye? <laughs> Garth Brooks, Gwen Stefani, or Phil Collins? Oh, man. I've got a lot of fingers. It's yeah. like I can just poke away, but uh, probably Phil Collins. I can't stand that guy. Yes. I hate Phil Collins. Uh, yeah, I don't like him one bit. I hate every last bit of hair that he has left on his head. Yeah. That's not good at yeah. all. <laughs> that was a quick question, but it just fit right in there. Yeah. Okay, uh, here's one. Jerry Lambert loves potato chips. I know he does. One night you have to run to the grocery store in the middle of the night. Jerry Lambert is in the potato chip aisle when he recognizes you. He tells you he likes just two guys and that he and Gus Gordon are planning to leave Channel 20 to join us and become just four guys. Oh. What do you do? Uh, you're welcome to join <laughs> us. <laughs> Those two guys? You think so? Oh, yeah. It'd be two plus two. It'd be great. I think I'd say be it. Get what? your own show. Nah, those two guys? would be great. No. They wouldn't sit where we're sitting. They'd be correspondents. They're, 
they'd be media hogs. They'd take all of our spotlight. Oh, we're still the executive producers of this show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I bet that would last. They're just talent. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. That's a good question, though. <laughs> all right, John. What would you do if you were sitting in a crowded restaurant and all of a sudden everyone stood up, walked towards you, and started pointing and laughing? This is a very crowded restaurant. Uh, I'd probably just think about my childhood and cry. <laughs> just weep. You wouldn't pick up your steak knife and go to town? No, I'm not that guy. Oh, okay. I would just probably like curl up and say, leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> well, if I was eating dinner with you, I'd pick up a steak knife for you. Although lately I've been having a lot of dreams. There, or I'm in like a restaurant and there's a lot of people around that I know. Like, um, so that's interesting. Huh, that is interesting. Mm. Well, I hope that doesn't happen to you. I hope so too. It never ends badly. No, yeah. that's good. Uh, See, what do I have here? What musical instrument other than a guitar would you like to play? Uh, it's funny you said other than a guitar. Because I knew that would be your answer. I want to know a little more. Um, harpsichord. Harpsichord? Yeah, yeah, it'd be a little cool. That's a good, good selection. Kind of creepy music. It's good yeah. stuff. I'd, I'd jam it up a little bit, that, form a good band nice. around it, but yeah. You don't see enough harpsichord anymore. No, you don't see a lot of bands formed around a no, harpsichord for no. sure. No. I think that'd be a really cool thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, John, here's the scenario. For the past few months, you've been gaining some weight. You start to get some stomach pain, so you go to the doctor. The doctor tells you you are pregnant and the baby is ready to come oh. out. Do you deliver naturally or go for the uh, C-section? I would try to just deliver naturally, I think. I mean, I don't You're know where it would come guy. out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, where is this baby going to come out? That's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Naturally, it'd be painful. Would the doctors know? I mean... It, I, I think they just I'd tell you to push, up, and they'd figure out, you know. Where. How did it get in there? Is it my baby? <laughs> yeah, I believe it's yours. So I'm asexual. Yeah, and that's come to the next question. Is this like an embarrassing thing? Would you go to the press with it? You'd have to. SJR report on it? Yeah, I'd go to the SJR. And Channel 20. And I'd Channel call 20. Sarah Wojcicki and Amanda Reeby. I think they would be do this. two best reporters in Springfield. Yeah, no, they are. They're the two best. Well, that's a painful experience. I'd probably go up to the C-section. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'd try it. You might try a water birth on that. There's got to be something new you can do. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Uh, tell me about the craziest interaction you've ever had with an absolute stranger. Oh, craziest interaction that does not count for homicides. Uh, yeah, no, okay, no, homicides. no homicides. We don't want anything really illegal. Um, man, I don't know. You, you asked some good questions that I could probably essay about, uh, but uh, at this point, I don't know. I've, you mean like in person or over the phone? Because I've picked up a payphone when it was ringing, and I had a very interesting conversation That's kind with of interesting, the guy. Yeah, yeah. He was like from Wyoming or something. And he was trying to get a hold of somebody. I, I was in Chicago and. We had a pretty good conversation. That's nice for being a random payphone call. Yeah, are you guys pen pals now? Ah, uh, yeah. I, you know, we we don't talk. I was kind of worried. He's like one of those snipers. It was. He <laughs> 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 got me on the phone. Here I am. You know, you're looking around, watching over your shoulder. Yeah. Um, that's a good question, though. I, I'd have to think more about that. Um, let's see. John, let's say that you were given the opportunity to start a new college. You're given free reign in development. Where in Springfield would you locate it? Where in Springfield? Right downtown. I'd make a downtown campus. Perfect. What would be the main academic focus? English. I knew you'd say that. What would you name it? Uh, just Two Guys School of Cosmetology. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And what would the mascot be? Uh, an alien casino. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Something. Those are the worst questions. Yeah, we've got to eat these. Yeah, we've got to eat it's these, It's almost buddy. time for the donut con contest. Uh, we're about ready to start a donut eating contest, so we'll just give you a little uh, taste test of what this is all about. Eat it. Yeah, man. Mmm. Join us in a minute. Mmm. <laughs> Welcome back to Just Two Guys. Um, as you can see, we've got a little bit of a change here. Uh, our other John got demoted to another job on our show, so we have uh, John Strumstifer here, which will be easy. I can just call you John, right? It's perfect. All right, good. 
Um, we've got a very interesting show uh, lined up today. Um, as you know, we've got a uh, donut eating contest, and we've got you on to do the commentary. Uh, you'll do this straight play by play. I'll take care of the color for you. Of course. Um, the idea of the show was to bring on a member of each part of the media, which would have been radio, newspaper, and television. Unfortunately, our radio personality uh, tested for an illegal substance in her urine, and we had to uh, throw her out. So instead, we're we're here with Amanda Reeve from the State Journal Register, and we're here with Sarah Wojcicki coming back. She promised she would for the donating <laughs> contest, and of course we have John Anderson running referee. Behind I'm the, the Just Two Guys custodian slash referee for <laughs> eating competitions. Uh, well, before we get started, we got to find out a little bit about Amanda. Amanda, how long have you been with the uh, State Journal Register? In January, it'll be two years. Okay, what do you do? I am the night police reporter. Oh, that's mm -hmm. exciting. Yeah. Very yes. active lifestyle you have. <laughs> so do you chase Pretty robbers active. around? Like, and lately, yeah, I've been doing a lot of that with that's the fun. holiday crime spree. That's fun. Yeah, so do they have any a good time. leads? <laughs> <laughs> Look a little guilty there. Yeah. I don't know. It's good business for you, huh? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What's going on there? <laughs> and uh, Sarah, anything new in your Not really. World? No, we got through the election and the veto session. And so now we're just coasting through the holidays. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Gotcha. So you're aware of uh, our show and our style. So you know that once we do get into the donating contest, you feel free to say whatever you want to say, you know, whatever it is. I want um, to see a lot of concentrating. I, I want to see a lot of talking. <laughs> I don't mind a little conversation. Okay, I'll explain the rules here. We've got five minutes. You will be eating donuts for five minutes straight. Um, it's up to you to choose the donuts that you'd like. And, um, <clears throat> you know, as soon as the five minutes is up, whoever has eaten the most. I don't know what we do if there is a tie and there's like a percentage of donut eaten. How do we? No, it's got to be a full donut. Okay. And I'll be watching. I'll is be there watching. any style points? Uh, John? Oh. You know, I <laughs> I read the IDEA rule book yeah. before the International Donut Eaters <laughs> Association rule book. Uh -huh. And there is style in some competitions in Eastern Europe. Yes. But I think here in Springfield, we'll just go straight forward and go with completed donuts. So if you're, uh, a portion of your donut is left, no matter how much that portion is, that's important. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to go. There's then. a donut now. I can't. Oh, yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> now, what no, about points? <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. Thank you for an explanation of those you're rules, John. You're very well versed in all of the donating contests. Which is which? What is this like? The capital of donating contests, or do you? You know, this has uh, always been big on the circuit because of the Grant family from Mellow Cream. Uh, back, I think, in 1937 is when Mellow sure. Cream was originally founded. Sure. And ever since then, you, they've had pretenders with uh, Krispy Kreme, Dunkin' Donuts, but we know here in Springfield that Mellow Cream is the only donut that represents America. And Do you work for Mellow Cream? <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, um, That's but wow. I, this is a very serious business in Springfield. I know the Just Two Guys program has uh, featured the horseshoe, yeah. and I think maybe only second to the horseshoe, the donut, would be the food of Springfield. Yeah. And Springfieldians. Yeah. I agree. That's right. I agree. We've literally kick the ass of Krispy Kreme out yeah. of this town. I mean, they Get have not had here. the ability yeah. to, to It's play like contraband this. in this town. It is, and it is. And I think, I think the key is the chocolate old-fashioned and anything like cream-filled. That's my key. Wow, that's and, nice. I mean, what do you think? Well, I think the, the, the cream-filled, for the contest especially, really coats the stomach and the, the throat. So uh, not that I'm, I don't want to give away any strategy uh, <laughs> to our novice uh, participants, but uh, Creamfield has always worked, in my opinion. All right. Well, how often do you guys eat donuts? Ooh, like every couple months or so. Oh, I haven't, eat, I haven't eaten a donut in 12 years. Really? That's going to be... Uh, Is that true or <laughs> no, is that a lie? That's, 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 I wouldn't lie. I just fib. Okay. No, actually, I went to the Mellow Cream. It's funny you should mention Mellow Cream, but I went to the Mellow Cream factory to do a story. Uh -huh. And you would be amazed on how it all goes down there. Is it a clean process? Oh, it is clean. Really? Crystal clean. Did oh, you yes. have to wear a cap? I had to wear a cap, an oh, outfit, wow. an entire uniform, gloves. Good. Oh, yeah. Did it's, they give you donuts at business. the end of the tour? Of course. 
Oh, the no. ones I made. <laughs> the ones you made? You yes. got to make you donuts? Made donuts? I made donuts there. What kind uh, of a donut did you make? I made raspberry filled donuts. Oh. And the machine that squirts the raspberry in it is awesome. Really? Because it's all lined up, and then you just, you know, they have a did line of Did you open your folks. mouth and say, give me one? Well, if you do it wrong, it squirts all over. So, really? you, I mean, it's because the donuts are coming down by the dust. It's just like cool. that Lucy. Oh, yeah. Lucille Ball. Oh, yeah. Where the things keep coming and you can't keep up. Yeah, so, it's, it's an art. You've seen the donuts being made, and Amanda, you work with police, so you've obviously seen the donuts I being made. that's true. <laughs> so, Different uh, context, but you know. You know, and if, and if Mellow Cream was open later, you'd probably see a lot more armed robberies at the Mellow that's Cream Center. So you cover it a little more, but. That's true. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so. Um, it's a downer. So, <laughs> hey, you know what? We bring up the crime in Springfield. It's just sure. a fact. <laughs> right, John? That's, That's right. right. <laughs> That's what she covers. That's her job. You cover politics, That's what I do. she covers crime. That's right. All right, so I think we're going to go ahead and try to begin. Um, I am going to try to start this nice little timer here. Um, and once I say go, uh, you guys can start. We'll just keep talking. You keep eating. John, you make sure I'm going to be watching like a hawk. Goes on. I'll be ready. I don't want to see any hand <laughs> signals or anything. Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Go. Let's get it on. Go. What's this all about? This is part of my strategy. Right. Very peculiar oh, strategy. That's quite a strategy. <laughs> You're just going to push her in. Uh, <laughs> she's going to make this more of a marathon than a sprint, apparently. She's eyeing her up. Um, she's going to see what Amanda's doing <coughs> to start this off. Amanda's starting with the chocolate on John. My personal favorite. Look at size. Kind of Mine too. And, oh, and the this. favorite. She's of most comparing. Bonus points. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You well, should, you I should. You know, think. John Anderson. I. Uh, I think would agree that the Long John is the best donut. We won't oh, ask Long why John's are clearly Long the John's, best. but uh, that's good. That's good. Now Sarah started off uh, with a smaller donut with the same is chocolate that frosting. That's old, old fashioned. No, no, that's not an old fashioned she's eating. That's the wimpy donut she's decided to pick up. Now, <laughs> but there aren't too many of those in there, so she's going to have to make a decision. I have to say here, from on the floor, I can see what's really going on down here. Okay. And I think Sarah's strategy is to see which donuts Amanda picks, and then she chooses a smaller donut. It's kind of a, it's, it's something that, that the rules need to be um, <laughs> adjusted for. Well, we may have to take that up later. Yes. Yeah, and that she's might be a half of a donut she's eating at this point. <laughs> this was a strategy actually implemented in 1972 by old Chance McGillicuddy. And this uh, is called the, the tortoise and the hare strategy. Yes. That's and great. it's outpacing your opponent. Sad chance died in 1976. I used to have a chance, so chance McGillicuddy yeah. t-shirt. Cardiac arrest. Yeah. Kind of. yeah. sure. That's great. What yeah. a hero. Every kid in North Dakota had those. <laughs> what a hero. <laughs> he was the hero <laughs> of North Dakota. <laughs> he <Yeah>. was. <laughs> um, so well, Amanda's really taking it to her right now. I'm really <laughs> yeah, she's very seeing a lot of style. motivation there. Not uh, a lot of chit chat. All about business. No, she's all about the business. She's coming uh, out swinging, really. <laughs> Sarah's attitude tonight. Um, a little flashy. Yeah, a little flashy on, on her part. It's uh, kind of like Ali Frazier. She would be Ali. Yes, <laughs> yes. She's going to start dancing around, maybe mm. pointing fingers at Amanda at this point. Uh, she's going to go for a little swig of water. And this is see if this technique speeds her up any. Oh, I don't think you can you do that. Oh, you can't? <laughs> no. You know, no. No sharing of the water? water. No, oh. no, no. Who knows we, what's in that? We don't know what kind of substance you Never have in that a, Having seen a head-to-head -head competition between people from these professions, I would suspect that the... Uh, print media would be an advantage because there's less talking in her line of work. That is true. And and I think that would uh, naturally she'd be more inclined to eat than I can only imagine well, that the, the jaws rest right, sure. not so much talking. Sure. We see a lot more going. However I noticed right. that the hand action seems a little weaker on this end. She's doing more you know <laughs> Yeah. Sarah's really falling behind at this point. Uh, Amanda just one down oh, look at she's jumping oh nice since the mid eighties once the donut is on the plate it has to stand. That's the true. It does. Thank That's I have not those seen those are the IDEA like rules. Years. That's uh, it's the old reverse. <laughs> yeah. That was the best move I've seen. <laughs> that was a move. That was quite a, some time. Yeah, quite a move. And it was so bold. Move. She was just right in your face, just taking it to you. Well, I was a little surprised. Yeah. Are we still on? Um, I was a little surprised because I thought she was going for that for herself. I know, she and did I the juke. Wow. Well, that's right, why I chose right, the big Chatty one Kathy, first. Let's yeah. Sorry, yeah. You got a, little, got a little eating to do. <laughs> Here shortly we'll watch a replay of that move. Yes, we will be. Quite stunning. I like Amanda's choice again. 
uh, chocolate fashion, maybe a little bit filling. Uh, it's, I assume, pretty deeply fried. It's a more dense donut. Yes. <laughs> Heavier. It's very dense. Yes. <laughs> but it is so probably the best tasting. It could motivate her. We have That's one right. full donut here on Amanda's side, and Sarah's still working on her first. Sarah's been a struggle, you know. She she claims to have already been at dinner right. tonight, but I'm not buying You know, that. being ranked sixth in Springfield, I would ex <laughs> expect a little bit more out of that. You're ranked sixth? <laughs> <laughs> Six. Amanda yeah. being an amateur on, an the, unknown. on the yeah, she's gonna really come up in the ranks. I've noticed though with Amanda, she puts the cat back under water. That could hurt on time. <laughs> yes, it could be. Because every could second slow her down. Sanction don't need to Could slow her down. It's it's important to watch the water levels. To see is. where they're going on this. And I must say, Amanda's drank a little bit more water. How are we on time? Uh, we're down to forty-seven seconds. Holy cow! Left? Wow. Yeah. Oh no. So. Uh, one. Uh, That's your yeah. job. I know. I, oh. I'm already did. Hey, oh. don't tell me how to do my oh. job. You need a donut. So we have one to one right now. It's a head-to-head -head tie. And unless she has to unless this that. gets fully consumed, right. In we're going to have a tiebreaker. <laughs> it's going to have to be a tiebreaker. No, she has to. She has to have at least got the bite. Amanda's got the pressure on. Sarah has to at least have a bite. Thirty seconds. Donut. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here, give me half of it. I'll eat it. Here we go. Wait. This is a move we've never seen before in sanctioned donut eating. Wow. Go. Go. Twelve seconds. You've got twelve seconds to get that puppy in your mouth. It doesn't have to go all the way down. This certainly. We can see that this is from unprecedented. Five. Yes, we've never seen anything like this. Three. Two, one. That's time. That's time. Well done. Very, very good. Very good. Um, so, fortunately, uh, we have a tie. We do have a tie. <laughs> uh, yes. No. Uh, explain the rules. There, there's a tie. Uh, two full donuts were not consumed here by either participant. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> No. <laughs> this is not making much sense. You're gonna she have had to one donut in part, and you had one donut in part. I'm uh, sorry, but that's a tie under IDA your, rules. Choose your jelly-filled donut, please. Sportsmanship does not count in donut eating. No, no. Mm. Really that was that was a neat, friendly little gesture you did there, but it didn't help at all. <laughs> yes, yes. So, um, yeah, it's up to you which donut. We call this the cram round. Yes. <laughs> OT. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> there they are. Now, I, I believe that's raspberry filled. We just heard you have some exper experience with the raspberry filled. Uh, might be a now, disadvantage there. Put your arms behind your backs. <laughs> <laughs> I think she should have to eat what's on her plate. <laughs> now, those aren't IDEA rules. No, right? this is just. Uh, You're talking, that's the underground donor eating rules. This is right? just commentary. It's mean nothing. You're, you're the rule maker. Um, so, you guys can just start whenever you want to start on those. But from well, beginning to end, it's. I have a question about the other rule. Because okay. I, I mean, because I'm sixth in the city on this, I've never heard of such a rule. So I'm going to have to see that in the book. So if you guys could produce that, before we, we will move produce on. that. No, <laughs> well, that we, unfortunately, we don't have the rule book with us. You tonight. don't? No. No, but now we've just changed the rules. John and I are sitting here, <laughs> yeah. and it is the biggest possible bite you can get into your mouth at this point. Oh. And we'll, you can okay, judge. we'll call it. Being yeah. that the rules call have always it. been passed down through oral tradition rather yeah. than written, <laughs> I think that's the way to go. Yes. IDA. Yeah. That's what this is. Sorry. It's a strict organization. Yeah. Okay. So biggest bite then? Biggest, biggest, biggest bite. bite. And I'll be watching this closely. Yeah, and we'll judge. We'll judge on this one. Okay. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right. Cut the tension with a knife. Time, Remember our agreement. Whoa, oh, an agreement. This fight's oh, been fixed. Uh -oh. It's like the Black Sox handle. <laughs> yeah. <I> no. <know. laughs> Ready? Uh huh. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> we have a winner. <laughs> oh. <right here. laughs> That's a pretty big bite. I think. I big. think she put the double fix on you. <laughs> I think she did. Uh, uh, Amanda Reevy. Amanda <laughs> Reevy is our Reeves. clear winner. Sarah Wojcicki. Wow. Clear winner. You. Yes. Yes. Um, Congratulations. Right, Oh. The prize. We, yeah, do we, have prizes. Cool. we do have prizes. We do have prizes. That's nice sportsmanship. <laughs> yeah, I was. Especially, you're number six, and she's well, an unknown. I grew up idolizing Sarah. So, oh, you did. You know, just wow. getting to this is a touching moment, yeah. So, you really got to take down your, your mental. Full circle for me. It was really my fault, all the eating I did today already. Yeah. Now, we have um, a Amanda? grand prize, and we have a parting gift for uh, you. For winning <laughs> this contest, uh, you get our grand prize. Uh, hopefully, you have a VHS player. <laughs> we have. Dwarf on golf. Oh, Starring nice. Tim Conway. Tim Conway. <laughs> That's your you know, favorite. He's popular with all the kids these days. How'd you know? I'm a huge fan. Yes. Hold that up. We'd like to get a shot of that. 
It's a really oh, nice, wow. nice prize for wow. you there. And I Sarah, hope you'll enjoy just that. Just in time for the holidays. It's yes. perfect. Yes. Thank it's you. perfect. <laughs> Sarah, as a consolation, um, since you did put a lot of work into eating your donuts, but you get nothing out of it yes. except a lower ranking. Um, <laughs> oh. We have that's the, that's the way it works. Here. Body yeah, focus sorry. part two. Oh, nice! <laughs> so it works with stomach, thighs, and buttocks. Oh. And yeah, let's bring that good. over here. So yeah, we can we'll, we'll show let's that there. Check that out. I no. think I have body focus one. So. You that's can do good. this with your family over the holidays. It'd be oh, a nice good. way for the family to bond around. Maybe the, even tonight when I get home because that would work. This yeah. has been rough. Yeah, that's now hold true. that up for the camera. We'd like to see what you. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a good yeah. stomach, thighs, and buttocks. Body focus she had too. Donut focus. I know. Yeah, <laughs> I have body focus one. If you guys want to borrow it. Oh, okay, great. Mm -hmm. We'll make a copy of that. I got that. Okay, that was a good, good. joke. <laughs> side nice. side story. Over yeah, there. I don't pay attention. To those All right, so we need to get your feelings on what you're going through with this strenuous contest. Well, I, first, I'd like to know what you did to prepare. I mean, that was. There had to be some training involved. Well, I didn't really eat anything all day, you know, oh, so okay. kept my stomach empty. And That's good. That's good. And Sarah, so your strategy apparently yes. was to eat dinner and go to a well, birthday party. yes, I ate lunch at 3 o'clock, which was steak and shake. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, Double cheeseburger. Yeah. Oh, that was, a, oh. that was a major that flaw. Was, in that, could have, that could have been bad. And yeah. then... Um, and then I went to birthday dinner at Saputo, so pasta oh, then, then. No, yeah. kind of heavy. <sighs> and then donuts. You passed on so dessert. So body oh. focus. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I'll be good to go with the body focus. So what did you, know. you go through what, in your head? I mean, what are you in this contest? What do you you know? What was your strategy and how did you do? I mean, were you okay with it? You feel sick? You all right? I feel good now, now that it's over, you know, being in the presence of such a fierce competitive eater as Sarah, you know, it's yes. pretty intimidating, yes. and, you know, she kind of stared me down a little bit, and comparing the donut size, I sort of felt like she was mocking me, yeah. so I turned that anger into eating power. Very That's good, great. very good, it yeah. paid off, the strategy really paid well, off. Heart of a champion. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's really a Cinderella story. Yes. It is. Sarah, what went through your head? Well, pretty much I was a little irritated that you guys picked up on my strategy so early with the choosing of the donuts because I thought that was pretty wise. Well, um, it would have been a wise strategy had you eaten them faster. I know, and but that but then again, the cost you the game. I know, but eating earlier in the day, that was, you know, being number six in the city like I was, I should have known that coming in. How do you think this is and going and to affect your, that? your rankings in the city? This is going to this is going to be really problematic. Okay. For the ranking, because you know when you're number six and a rookie comes in and beats you, I mean, she's not even ranked. No, no. right, and yeah, you know until charts. now. So I'm be what does that mean? To see what Channel Twenty has to say about this tonight. <laughs> I know. I'd like to see that. I'm sure one of the uh, Channel Twenty people are actually ranked higher than you at this point. We'll, well find they're, out they might try to brush this under the rug. Uh, they, they, might, might, they might try to cover it up. We've got to keep <laughs> our eye on this footage. I know. You too. I know. <laughs> Well, uh, we're about out of time, so thank you, ladies, for joining us and taking part in our donating contest. John Strumsover, we hope to have you back again soon. Proud to be here. Great, great play-by-play. Great, play. yes. great job. Great job. Years of research. Yes. Well, I was really off. happy to have you here because I've been in many contests, and to have they, you know, bring you in from your side of town is really nice. I appreciate that <laughs> from my side of town. Yes. We all are grateful to be here. The bad side. <laughs> all right. Thanks. And uh, join us next week on Just Two Guys. Hello. Welcome to the party. Hi. I've never met you before. I know. Just two guys and we're having a good time, having a good time, having a good time. Just two guys and we're having a good time, having a good time.